Let us now discuss the last chapter for differential equation. That will be special second ordered equations. Under special second ordered equations, we have three special cases. Case number one is a second differential second order differential equation having the form this is case one having the form d over dx times dy over dx plus ypx is equal to qx that will be case one case two is a second order differential equation with a variable y missing variable y missing that is f d square y over dx square dy over dx and x is equal to zero okay and the third case we have a second order differential equation with the variable x missing this time. So this is in the form of f d square y over dx square dy over dx and y is equal to 0. So these are the three cases. Now let us have an example under case number 1. Okay, to show you the solution to these three kinds of cases or three cases in chapter 9. Number 1, example. So, find the complete solution of d over dx times dy over dx plus y is equal to e to the negative x. So under case 1, okay, so whatever is inside the parenthesis here, we have to let this be equal to u. So whatever is inside the parenthesis. So we have to let u be equal to dy over dx plus y. Let that be equal to u. So if this is equal to u, we can rewrite the original equation in the form d over dx times this whole thing is equal to u is equal to e to the negative x. Alright? So, if u is equal to dy over dx plus y, we may now, okay, we may now integrate this. Or let's cross multiply first. So this becomes du is equal to e to the negative x dx. Okay? If we're going to integrate both sides, we'll have the integral of du is u is equal to the integral of e to the negative x dx is negative e to the negative x. Since we have integrated, we have to add c. 1. c sub 1. Why c sub 1? Because your u still has derivatives in it. Okay? So u is equal to negative e to the negative x plus c sub 1. But what is u? Your u, but u is equal to dy over dx plus y. So, replacing u with dy over dx plus y, we'll have dy over dx plus y is equal to negative e to the negative x plus c sub 1. This is now your equation. So, what is the next thing? If you'll notice, this is an equation of the first order. So first ordered differential equation. 
So we are to employ the first order differential equation. So what will be your Px? Your Px is with y, that is 1. And your Qx is equal to negative e to the negative x plus c sub 1. This holding here is Qx. Okay? So what is the next thing that we have to do? We have to find the integrating factor phi, which is equal to e to the integral of px dx. Or this is simply e to the integral of dx. Or your phi is e to the x. Okay? So after finding out the integra integrating factor phi, so what is the next step in the solution to uh, first ordered linear equation? You have your y phi is equal to the integral of phi q x dx this time plus c sub 2 because we already have c sub 1 on your qx so we have y times e to the x which is phi is equal to the integral of e to the x times negative e to the negative x plus c sub 1 dx plus c sub 2. So your y e to the x is equal to the integral of e to the x times e to the negative x is simply 1. So we have 1 plus c sub 1 e to the x dx plus c sub 2. So you have y e to the x is equal to the integral of negative dx is negative x plus the integral of c sub 1 e to the x is c sub 1 e to the x plus c sub 2. Okay? Or we have y e to the x is equal to c sub 1 e to the x minus x plus c sub 2. So this answers problem number 1. Okay? So let us have problem number 2. Number 2. So find the general solution of d over dx times x dy over dx plus 2y is equal to negative 2x cubed. Okay? Again, this is under case number 1. So we have to let u be equal to whatever is inside the parenthesis. So we have x dy over dx plus 2y. Okay? Replacing this whole thing with u, we have du over dx is equal to negative 2x to the negative mm, negative triple to the negative 3. Okay? So we have du is equal to negative 2x to the negative 3 dx. Integrating this, we have to add c sub 1. So we have u is equal to negative 2 x to the negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 1 plus c sub 1. Or u is equal to negative 2 and negative 2 cancels. So we have x to the negative 2 plus c sub 1. But then again, what is u? Your u is x dy over dx plus 2y. So we have to replace u with this whole thing. So we have x dy over dx plus 2y is equal to x raised to the negative 2 
plus c sub 1. Dividing everything with x, we have dy over dx plus y times 2 over x is equal to x to the negative 3 plus c sub 1 x to the negative 1. Since we are going to divide everything by x. Again, what is px here? This is again first ordered linear. Your px is 2 over x. And your qx is equal to x to the negative 3 plus c sub 1 x to the negative 1. So what is your phi? We have e raised to the px, the integral of px, that is 2 over x dx. Or do you simply e to the 2 ln of x? Or this is e to the ln of x square? Or this is simply x square? Okay? That will be our phi. Solution. We have y phi is equal to the integral of phi q x dx plus c sub 2. Okay? Just like what we've done on the first example. So we have y times phi, that is x squared, is equal to the integral of phi, that is x squared, times qx, x to the negative 3, plus c sub 1, x to the negative 1, dx, plus c sub 2. Or you have y, x squared, is equal to the integral of x to the negative 1 plus c sub 1 x dx plus c sub 2. Okay? By distributing x squared inside the parentheses. So we have 